Ben Horner for MBTV, who is Sam Sexton, um, ahead of another showdown in Norwich. Yeah. Um, how's preparation going for July 15th? Um, yeah, I felt good. I always felt good. I'm, I'm in the gym all the time anyway. Um, I've, done a, I've done a few more weights this time, I'm trying to get the guns, <laughs> um, just to sort of improve the strength a bit. Um, I'll give it probably another week and then I'll start stripping down again. Um, lose a bit of the puppy fat. Um, yeah, it's just good. Um, joining you on the bill in Norwich, and it's sort of a long time since you've been on the same bill as in Nathan Dale. Yeah. Um, he's obviously out for 15 months. Someone who you've probably trained alongside for most of your fights. I know there's a bit of a weight difference, but what's it like yeah. to have Nathan back at full fitness, you know, to train alongside? No, it's good. I mean, me and Nathan run together sometimes. We do a lot of training over the other gym. We do a lot of weight circuits with John and stuff. Um, he's fast, he's small, you know, so for me to try and keep up with him, especially on things like the runs, it's, it's good for me, you know, there's a little bit of competition there, pushes me as well. Um, going back to the heavyweight division, um, so a former opponent of yourselves, now back, get to getting himself back into the mix, David Price. Yeah. Um, where do you see things go for Price, and do you, do you see a, a future showdown between the two of you again, or? Um, I don't know, you know, the, the, the heavyweight scene is wide open again, um, especially with now, you know, Fury just, you know, pulling out of the Dylan White fight. Um, Hopefully, you know, we have put it to the board that we want to fight for the British title. I think a more sellable fight for me would be, you know, set Sexton these White. Mm -hmm. It's a more sellable, a sellable fight to, to the fans and stuff, so hopefully we can get it on. If uh, Price wants to go down that route, if the British again, then it's, it's, it's got to happen, yeah. Um, going on to that British title fight, obviously no one really knows what's happening or where anything's going yet. Um, you say you'd fight anyone. Dylan White, what, what do you see in his armoury to bring to that? Um, Dylan White, he's, he's big, he's tough, he's a brawler, you know, he, he wants to fight. He doesn't, you know, I mean he can box, but he doesn't want to box, he wants to get into a punch up, you know. Um, I like him a, li a, a little bit to sort of, uh, he, he's a bully fighter, you know, when things are going his way, he's loving it, when they're not, um, not so good, you know. And I think he's got a bit of a, a stamina issue as well. Dave Allen is sort of the one who's now trying to push himself into that yeah. the spot that Huey Fury's left open. Um, it's the fight that got made b between you and Dave Allen for the English, well, got put out to purse bids and for the English title. Whether that happens or not, yeah. again, we don't know. What, what do you know of Dave Allen? What have you seen of him and what do you think he'd bring? Um, to be fair, not much. I haven't really seen him fight much. I, I went up to um, the Cal Brook fight um, a few months ago. I saw him fight then. Mm -hmm. and he fought the, the Yank. The yeah, uh, Jason Gavin. Gavin. Jason Gavin, yeah. I thought, um, I didn't really get to see how he fight, to be fair, because Gavin tried to mess the fight up so much. But it was just, uh, just a, a spoiled fight. But I don't really know much about him. He's, he's, he's big, strong. He's winning, you know? So, what more can you say? Um, keeping it, like we keep going on with the heavyweights. Um, David Hayes now come back. Um, a lot of people see that as a sort of joke event uh, a couple of weekends ago. Yeah. Um, he's now looking at fighting Shannon the Cannon. Yeah. Um, what sort of route do you see him going? And do you think coming in at British level is something that would interest David Hay? Or definitely not. I mean, he's a world chaser. Um, that's the only reason he's back. Because you really see David David Hay fighting for a British title. No. Definitely not going to happen. He's been up there. He's been in there with the big boys. He won the world title at cruiserweight and stuff. He's even won a world world title at, at heavyweight. Um, that's what he wants. To be honest, when I see David Hay now, he's there for the money. You know, he's just there for the paydays. But he can get them paydays because he's a he's a big name. He's been there before. Um, so all these big fights he keeps having, that's just all the money in the back burner. You know. Going back to yourself, July the fifteenth. You say you've been on the weights a little bit more. Yep. Change things up a little bit. Yeah. What can people expect to see Sam Sexton bring to the table? Um, we ask this every fight. Yeah, I know. Every time it's like. Slightly different, you know? So. Well, like I said to you before, I had a lot of time out because of the back. Um, I stayed off the weights completely, really. I mean, I've done a few light fitness weights and stuff. Um, so I didn't feel very strong. I felt sharp, felt fit, but I didn't feel very strong. And I think, looking back, some of the opponents who I didn't manage to put away, I could have probably stopped. Um, this, this, this is why this time I've done a few more weights. Um, you know, I've got more of the, more the strength sessions in, and, and I feel a lot stronger. Brilliant. Well, best of luck, yep. J July the 15th. Yeah. If I don't see you before, I'll see you on the night. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you.